Hello everybody, so this will be a quick video on um, how to use mesh terms in PubMed and why they're useful. Um, so in PubMed there are these things called mesh terms and mesh stands for medical subject headings. Um, in any other database these are usually just called um, subject or subject headings and essentially what happens is that there are subject experts who read the abstracts that are put into PubMed and they assign the main topics or subjects to the articles and tag those articles with those subjects. Um, so in PubMed, we can search by keywords or we can search using subject headings or any combination of those two things. So there's not one right way to search. Um, generally, using subject terms will give you more precision, so more precise searching, um, but there are two different techniques and you're going to get back different search results, so I encourage you to try searching both ways. So in this example, um, this is a real life example I got, I was contacted by someone um, who was in the speech therapy program here, and she was interested in dental issues, as she put it, um, and have that affect speech therapy. So if we do a keyword search using the exact terminology she used, so dental issues and speech, you can see we got back um, various uh, results here, and they don't look that great. Um, so some of them appear to just be about dentistry and not about speech. Um, some of them are pretty broad, so we're moving into head and neck cancer here. So in this case, more precision using mesh terms may be helpful for us. Um, but how do we discover the mesh terms and how do we incorporate them into the search? What we can do is change this drop down here from PubMed to Mesh. And this is going to let you search the Mesh thesaurus um, to try and discover subject headings related to your topic. So now you need to type in one concept you're interested in. So I can't do um, dental issues and speech at the same time. I need to choose one of those. So I'm going to go with dental issues. I'm going to modify a bit. Um, so try and get as close to the proper um, health or medical terminology as you can get. Um, so issues probably isn't the right word, so we can try something else. Disorders, disease, etc. And uh, here it maps it to the correct term. Sometimes you won't get a match, sometimes you'll get multiple matches. In this case it matched it up to two of the diseases. So what I would do here is take a look. You'll see the term itself. If there's a definition, it would be listed here. And before I decide I'm happy with it and add it to my search, I like to scroll down and take a look at this mesh tree. So terms um, higher up and to the left are broader categories, and terms lower down and to the right are more specific. So what I like to do is think about whether a broader term or more narrow term might be more appropriate for my research question. So in this particular case, I asked the student, are you really interested in only tooth diseases or dental issues? Or are you interested in this broader category here um, that talks about mouth, tooth, jaw, and pharynx issues? Um, but if she decided that she wanted to focus just on teeth, um, let's run a search using that. So what I do here is I just add that term to my search builder. And either I can find more mesh terms and add them, or I can combine it with a keyword, which is what I'm going to do here. Um, if you want, there are some options here. You can add a subheading. Um, so basically another concept to combine with tooth diseases. Um, you can tell PubMed that you want tooth diseases to be the major topic of the paper. I generally don't use these items unless I'm being overwhelmed with search results. So if you're getting a lot of search results and there are just too many to go through, um, then I might restrict it to a major topic or bring in one of these subheadings. Otherwise, don't worry about it. Um, when I do a search for tooth diseases, keep in mind it's going to include everything below it too, so the more specific things. Um, if you don't want PubMed to do that, um, just tell it with this box here, do not include mesh terms found below this term in the mesh hierarchy. But otherwise, keep it simple. I always like to keep it simple. Um, and when you're happy with the search and the way it looks, you can just say search PubMed. There we go. 
Um, so the next way to find mesh terms is find one article that looks pretty good to you. So let's pretend that this one here um, we like. You can click on it, and if it's been indexed for PubMed already, if you scroll down, you should see a list of mesh terms. Now, if you don't see it, it might be minimized like this, so just open it up. And you'll see the main um, topics in the mesh terms of this article. So um, if you see an asterisk, that's a major topic in the paper. Otherwise, it's not quite as significant. Um, and you can see here, actually, the terms they use are orthodontic brackets, um, speech, um, but not speech therapy, which is kind of interesting. Um, and you can think about whether you want to use these terms in your search. That's how you discover mesh terms. Um, if you like what you see here from one article, you can always click on this and you can again add to search and that sticks it up at the top here. And then you can add in your terms again, teeth or dental, whatever you want. Um, you can automatically run the search in PubMed. So if I click on this, this is going to run a new search um, for anything tagged with speech as a major topic. Or finally, you can search this term in Mesh. And again, that's going to take you back to the Mesh thesaurus like so. Um, and you can see the definition of this term. And again, take a look at the tree. So those are all of your options for searching Mesh. Um, I'm sorry this is kind of long, but you do have a lot of options here. So just to recap, to discover terms useful to you, either search the Mesh thesaurus, and the way you do that is um, from PubMed, choose Mesh from the drop-down and type in one concept you're interested in. Or you find one article that's useful to you, like so, and take a look at the Mesh terms, which should be down here. I hope that helps, and good luck with your searching.